Hey, I'm Connor, and I'm here to show you spreadsheets in Ami. With spreadsheets, you get the experience that you're used to in Excel and Google Sheets, except it's all built on top of live data from your warehouse instead of a bunch of exported CSVs. So you can build your usual financial statements like PL, you can do advanced modeling exercises, and you can use all your favorite formulas and shortcuts. And everything you build gets real-time results. So you can just build your spreadsheet once, and then if the underlying data changes, you just have to refresh the page instead of downloading all your data again and building it from scratch. Plus, with Omni, you get all the benefits of a governed BI tool. You get version control, easy ways to share your work, and a centralized place for all your different data sources. So with that, let me walk you through three examples on some demo data to show you a bit more. For this first example, I'm going to walk you through this PNL statement I've already built so you can understand the mechanics and the behind the scenes. And then in the other examples, we'll do a little more hands on building. So, this PNL statement you're seeing is built off of some general ledger data. So, if I go into this Omni query, you'll see I'm querying the accounts table and the journal entry line items table, and I'm joining them together to get a single result set and then doing some light formatting to prepare it for the PNL statement. And Omni is pulling this data directly from our data warehouse, which is being sent to that data from our ERP. So we're seeing the most updated results. Then to start a new spreadsheet, I could open a new tab, uh, hit the spreadsheet option here, and that'll drop me directly into the spreadsheet interface. This is blank, but if I wanted to pull in any of the result sets that I've created in this Omni workbook, I can do so here. So if I just pull in that general ledger query that I was working in, You'll see this is the exact same query I just showed you in this Omni tab. And then from here, I can start building on top of it. So uh, if I wanted to directly reference it, I could uh, just uh, use that syntax there, or I could, as you would in Excel, click into that tab and then just click the value that I want. And then from here, I could just continue iterating from there. So this is how the PNL statement is built. Uh, let me show you that as I save it. There we go. So this is yeah how the PNL statement is built. This is all built on top of formulas based on this GL tab, which is just a cleaned up version of the general ledger data set. Um, so you can build your statements like this really easily, and it's all on top of live data. So the, the query results that are being pulled in this general ledger tab are flowing directly into this source tab in this spreadsheet. So uh, this interface is great for actually building that spreadsheet. And once you're ready, you can present this in a dashboard alongside other queries. So let me pop over to another full version of a built out dashboard. Here, this is an exec dashboard where my execs can see the PL statement alongside other data like S1 opportunities, S2 opportunities, conversion rates. So you can give um, your execs and other people on your team a complete picture of the business by bringing your financial reporting into your BI tool where your other data lives as well. This is all version controlled. So instead of having to send one off files or worry that the file you sent isn't quite ready, you can do all your work in this sandbox. So if I hit edit there, I'm dropped into my own personal sandbox where I can make changes freely. Nobody's gonna see this version of the file. And then once I'm ready, I can publish it and share it with my team. And to share, it's just like a Google Doc or a Google Sheet. So I can hit that share button. Uh, I can invite specific people. I can change their permission level depending on what access I want them to have and then share this file and um, I can share it as a URL as well. The last thing I wanted to show you is that uh, your work doesn't have to just stay in Omni. You can also bring it back into Excel if you want to continue iterating from there. So let me go back to the workbook I was working in and then you'll see here there's an option to download. So download that sheet and then that'll bring in the uh, that'll download this entire spreadsheet. So if I pop that open in Excel, you'll see it's retained all the different formulas and formatting that I had in Omni, and it's pulled in those result sets that I was working off of as well. And then I can also go in the reverse direction. So if I have an Excel sheet like this that is already built out, it has all the formulas and references I want, uh, I can rebuild it in Omni based off of the live data that I'm pulling from my data warehouse. So here, if I were to uh, pop open a new tab, hit the spreadsheet option again, and then I'm just gonna, again, pull in that uh, Excel file that I had already built as if it were a file that had never touched Omni. And it's gonna, Omni is gonna pull in all of the formulas, all the references, and here it's actually referencing the 
like exported CSV data or exported Excel data that I had in that Excel file, but I could easily rebuild this with live data. So for example, I could delete this tab here and then pop in the general ledger data that I've built in Omni. And since those have the same structure, then this PNL statement will automatically get the live data using those same references and formulas. So it's quick and easy to kind of convert your existing Excel workbooks into Omni so that they're built on top of live data. All these different pieces come together to make it easy to build your core financial reporting in Omni, share them with people, and show them real-time results, rather than having to rebuild every time the data changes. All right, so for this second example, I'm going to start from the same PNL statement we've been working on, and I'm going to build on top of it with a new summary tab that collects some of the core metrics from the PNL statement, and then I'll also calculate a new metric, CAC payback, or customer acquisition cost payback period. So I've already started that new summary tab, so you don't have to watch me do a bunch of formulas. And I'm using dynamic references here, so as the underlying data changes and the PNL statement changes, all of those changes flow directly into this summary tab. Now to calculate CAC payback, I'm going to need a new metric, which is the change in monthly recurring revenue or net new monthly recurring revenue. I don't have that granularity in my ERP, so I need to get that from Salesforce, and I can do that in Omni. So I'm going to start a new tab, or let me save my changes, and then I will start a new tab. I'm going to navigate to our sales topic here, which is a curated set of tables pre-joined, so I can pull from any of them freely. For this question, though, I just need the MRR table, so I'll grab that data there. And then let me rename this sheet just so it's a little bit easier for me to reference, so I'll call that MRR. And now that I have this data, um, I can go to my PNL spreadsheet again, and I'll pop open this menu, and then I can pull that in directly as a source time. And there's there are those results. So thankfully, I can start building on top of this data without having to define the logic myself in this spreadsheet again. That logic is already defined in Salesforce. I can leave that as the source of truth and then just pull it into Omni here. So now that I have it in this spreadsheet, let me go back to my summary tab here, and I'll bring in that data. So. I'm going to transpose it since it's in a columnar format and I need it in a row format here. So I'll use uh, transpose, navigate to that tab, write the formula. There we go, looks good. And then I can calculate CAC payback. So I'll start by grabbing the total go to market expenses divided by the net new MRR times gross margin. Go. You'll see I used my arrow keys there, so I'm very familiar to, um, to your experience with Excel. Uh, and then able to drag that over, so there's our CAC payback period, and our summary sheet is done. So now I have two tabs that I want to show in my spreadsheet. I have the summary tab as well as the PNL statement itself. And we have this feature here where you can show the tab a tab strip so that folks can toggle between different views in the same spreadsheet. So um, to clean this up a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and hide the source tabs. And then just to show you what this looks like um, on a fully built out dashboard, let me navigate to the example I was showing you earlier. And you'll see here there are these uh, two different tabs, summary and PNL, in the same sheet, but folks can toggle between them easily. So it's quick and easy to combine different data sources to get the metrics I need here. I don't have to export from a bunch of different places and re-download when the data changes. The logic and the data from every system flow into this one centralized view. For this final example, I want to show you a modeling use case to give you a sense of what's possible with live data and spreadsheets in Omni. So in this example, we're trying to forecast the amount of capital required to hit our target number of customers over the next year. If I pop into the workbook view, you'll see that that forecast is built off of some actual performance data coming from this live Omni query. So we have the total number of customers, annual contract value, customer acquisition costs, and then this dynamic growth toggle. Then we pull in those results into the spreadsheet as a source tab here, and then use them as starting points for our analysis. And since you're using an Omni query to power that forecast, again, it's all dynamic and based on live data. So for example, uh, discard those changes real quick. Uh, if I wanted to look at opportunities only in the past six months, I could change the filter here, choose that. 
Uh, if I wanted to look at a different growth scenario, I could use this growth toggle we've set up to change our targets. And then if I pop back into the spreadsheet here, you'll see that those numbers have changed and so has our final forecast. So instead of having to rerun this forecast every so often to get updated numbers, you can build it in Omni so you're always operating off of the freshest data. And you can always bring in new data too. So back in the Omni query, I could slice by segment or created date or any of the other data here. So you have all the data available to you from your data warehouse without having to export from your systems every time. That's the cool thing about using Omni for this kind of work. You get the flexibility and speed you're used to in spreadsheets, and you also have this live dynamic view that you and your team can always work off of. All right, that was a quick overview of spreadsheets in Omni. We've loved seeing what our customers have built already and can't wait to continue seeing how it evolves. And spreadsheets are just one of the ways you can interact with data in Omni. You can also use AI to ask questions in natural language, write custom SQL, or use our workbook interface to pick and choose what fields you want to see. So if you'd like to try out spreadsheets on your own data or see anything else on the platform, please reach out to us. We would love to show you more.